All right, we're just getting our second or another set of robots lined up here for you. It's going to be another bunch of big boys. Entering the arena is four low. Four low is a uh, very ingenious robot, locking the time for welder to prepare the front. They've used zip ties and vice grips. <laughs> this type of ingenuity. This type of ingenuity is unique to robot builders. Robot fighters known to use any material at hand to build their robots. Hotel rooms are often left barren once they've left. <laughs> Chairs, abortive legs, lamps, abortive switches. Wheelchair motors, very popular. Sarge using two wheelchair motors, very popular. Let's see, the difference is we got two robots, both have four wheel drive. One's a little bit bigger than the other, okay. How much does yours weigh? Infinite. Infinite mass. No, Dalton, you're a little light on weight, aren't you? 75. 75 pounds. The maximum weight for this class was 150. So Dalton's pretty light there with SARS. That might be the deciding factor here. Predators ready? Alright. Go! Oh, SARS, the lighter of the two robots, has immense grip. It's got four huge green oh, tires. Come on! So close. So close! As the winner there, for a low, doesn't really seem to care. I'm just going to get back on the arena look this again. <laughs> ready for match two. Now ready and fight. Go! Both jockeys in position. Looks like for a low, got a lot better driving all of a sudden. Sarge is sliding. Four low using that giant wheel to kind of knock it off the arena. Oh, you're, you're like, it's half an inch. Come on, four low. Four low takes that. That's one for Sarge, one for four low. This third match is the decider. behind the naming four low. Four low is after a uh, four wheel drive car. Dave, he builds them. That's his hobby. He really builds all these awesome, he takes a Suzuki Samurai and turns into something crazy. So, of course he builds a robot that just doesn't really care about four inch high barriers or platforms or anything. 